The Hickson family mourns the loss of a son and their daughter is seriously injured. Good evening and thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 5. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Three teenagers were riding together in a truck when that crash happened this morning. One did not survive. News Channel 9's John Madewell joins us now. John, do police know what caused this crash? Well, Latricia and Josh, police say that the teenage driver lost control of the truck, rolled the truck, and then hit a large tree. All three teenagers were ejected. From what we've learned, the three teenagers were students at Hickson High School, and the crash happened on Adams Road near the Marsh Lane intersection sometime before 9 o'clock this morning, a time they normally would have been in school but were out because of the MLK holiday. The crash ejected and killed the 15-year-old boy. This afternoon, a group of friends stopped at the scene and looked at the tree the truck smashed into. All I know is I've lost one of my friends to it. It says 15 year old dead. He was laid back. He laid was back, laid back, fine with everyone, didn't have a problem, good kid, everything. The victim's 16 year old sister and the 17 year old boy in the truck were also ejected. So were they buckled in? Fairly safe to say no. Sergeant David Gibb is part of the traffic investigative team. Preliminary investigation shows that they went off the road to the right side and then overcorrected and came back and went over off the left side and then the vehicle went to a, a flip. And struck a tree. The truck left the road after coming out of this curve, and police suspect another cause. A speed appears to be a factor, yes. Nearby, Zach King and his construction team were working on this house they're building. He saw the aftermath of the crash and soon learned about the teen losing his life. I was actually called my wife and told her about it, and it was just, you know, say a prayer for the family. It's about all you can do at this point. For this group of teenagers, when school resumes tomorrow, a key friend will be missing. I started coming to the middle school. I started riding their bus with my friend, getting dropped off at his house, and I met him. Yeah, there are some good kids. Now, at latest check, the victim's 16-year-old sister is in critical condition, and the 17-year-old is still being assessed. Now, police say if reckless driving is established, vehicular homicide charges are pending. Patricia? All right, John, thank you.